welcome back this is arcade night and guys on today's episode we're gonna do a little bit of shopping we're gonna reward some loyal lords plus hopefully start a war that you subscribers have been begging for so sit back on your comfy thrones grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play imperial rome the gates are jam-packed trying to get into Massilia. Guys, I'm in one of the South Party um, Roman Empire towns um, right on the coast of the Mediterranean. And um, I thought I was going to do a little bit of shopping while I'm here. But frankly, th this seems like a, a poor town compared to uh, some of the towns over in Nova Roma. But uh, let's see if we can find the marketplace. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some armor now i've been doing a little bit of shopping and um i did pick up some roman garb to romanize some of my new lords uh both togas and armor and also i picked up a nice dress for vicentia i i don't know it kind of matches um what uh the general wears in the court so i don't know tell me what you guys think i'm gonna keep shopping maybe we could find something better um but also i was looking for just any kind of armor maybe to give to my subscriber knights, Justinus and Jeremiah. Let's see. General Roman armor. That's similar to mine. What's that? 42. That's a, that's exactly the same. Now that one looks kind of cool. That one looks kind of... Ooh. I kind of like that a lot. I mean, I'll, I'll keep this one, but... I don't know. Sometimes the general needs a change. Now, does this, does, does this go... See, that doesn't match anymore now. Now I gotta get a whole new helmet. And it's gotta be a general's helmet. It just anything won't do. I don't think I have another general's helmet. Well, we got a, more shopping to do, but I, I think I kind of like that. Now I need more sandals. Ah, ah. Is, is that better? You know, it looks better here, but it doesn't look better there. Hmm. Well, it's it's inexpensive, so I'll, I think I'll try that out. Ooh, for Vicentia. I'll try it out for her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think pink is her color. I'm, I'm going to have to veto that, but I think I'm going to get this. I think I'm definitely going to get this, and I don't see anything. I'd really like to get some Praetorian garb um, for my subscriber knights, but I haven't seen anything worthy for them to wear. But um, I think the general's going to rock this for now. Very good. Um, any good horses here? Nothing much better than mine. I'm, I'm still waiting to ride that elephant, frankly. So, uh, we gotta start upgrading. Alright, so let's get out here, guys. And let's see. I don't believe... Let's see if we can try and head over to to here. We haven't been this far very often. See if we can find some, some Roman garb over here before we head back to Antioa. Guys, we've got so many things to do today. Um, and, and I haven't told you yet, uh, this war we're gonna start. Oh, the West Party has declared war against the North Party. Okay. Well, we're heading into West Party territory. And guys, look at our finances. We're almost up to a hundred thousand. We're getting there. Alright. Let's go to this town. And, um, let's take a walk around the streets real quick. See if there's anything interesting here to see. And check out our new armor. Ooh, guys. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that looks good in this light. Yes, I am loving it. Oh, yeah, you know, on the weekends we'll wear this. Definitely. This, this is our weekend guard. All right, so yeah, this is um, this is pretty good. It's all right. Still nothing that, that extravagant. Let's go to the marketplace. Armor, anything good. Yeah, you see, I haven't even found a good helmet. <laughs> Nope, I don't think she'd like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not too excited about my options. Ooh, wait a minute. It's cracked, though. But that does match, though. It's cracked. You know, I could, I could hold on to it just for now, because it matches. And um, whenever I find a better one, I can always hand this out to um, one of my... My lords, one of my lesser men. See any better dresses here? Lady dress, that's interesting. No. Maybe sometimes she wants to wear green. I don't know. Or does she feel like that's not even yellow? I don't know, guys. I'm still liking this one. Well, that's not even what it looks like there. 
Well, now I'm completely confused. I think I'm going to grab... I think I'm going to grab this one. Because that's what it actually looks like. I kind of like that. It's subtle. This one, if it looked like that, I would be ecstatic about. But that's hideous. <sighs> I think she would be upset if I brought that home. I think she'd be upset. I don't know. You guys let me know. That's a little bit better, right? A little bit better. Okay. I can tell her. I, I even tried it on for you. Just to make sure. I even tried it on for you. Let's see if there's any good horses here. Um. Ooh, 42? Nope. You see? Still not better. Still not better. Alright, guys. I think what we're gonna do is um, we're definitely gonna head all the way back. Maybe we can hit uh, Tars on the way home before we get to Antioa. And then, uh, you know, it's 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 been so long. Right after the wedding, I separated to do a little bit of shopping. But uh, we need to go visit the wife and talk to her um, before we start handing out some thieves and uh, start this war I've been talking about. There's rumors in the comment section. You guys have been begging for it. So, oh, my goodness, look at that legion. How much does that cost them? How much does that cost them a week to support a legion of almost 3,000 strong? I know how much... 600 cost yeah it's about 22,000 a week could you imagine i'm not going to do the math but i'm sure you guys will do the math and let me know in the comment section how much that is my goodness i don't know how i can even compete with that but i tell you what wow if you were to crush one of those legions it would be devastating right it would be devastating. All right, guys, I'm going to make it back to Tars. And once I'm there, I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. I made it to Tars. And I tell you what, I like this helmet here. I like it. It's got 40 armor, which is close to that one. And um, I won't feel so bad giving this to one of my other lords because it's, it's not so similar to mine. So that feels pretty good. And so now I've got two sets of gear, kind of dependent on how the mood strikes. Oh, I like it. The shield on, give me my sword, my fire javelins. In fact, while I'm here, let's see if I can find a better sword. Yeah, definitely. Any any Praetorian garb? No. No, I'm, I'm gonna find something for him that's appropriate. I promise you that. Any any good dresses? Nope, I've already got that one. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see. Is there is there a great sword here? Ooh. Ooh. Reach 95, okay. 86 speed, a little bit slower, but look at that swing. 43 thrust 35. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's coming with me for sure. And um, I think I'm going to pass that on to um, one of my subscribers. Ooh, that's a nice shield. Ooh. Ooh. I'm finding all kind of goodies. And that kind of matches... Kind of what I'm going for here, right? Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that a lot. Oh, guys. I'm feeling good about today. I'm feeling real good about today. Ooh, Roman Commander Shield. Oh, man. That's pretty, too. I don't know. Alright. Go with my gut. That's the one I like. Okay, very good. Guys, we're, we're in excellent shape. All right, so also I noticed that uh, Just Dennis, Subscriber Knight, the Reaper, has upgraded. So guys, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to talk to him about his skills. And uh, let's see, what have you been doing for me? You have been an engineer, but I don't need you to be because I am the engineer. So we have been um, kind of not putting points towards that. What can we divert things to? Hmm. Trainer. What else could you help me with, though? Um, hmm. Ah, oh, your Iron Fashion Power Strike are pretty good. Tell you what, let's give you some more intelligence. We're just going to give you one more point in each of those. So you're just going to be a complete badass on the battlefield. Let's give you some more throwing. Because, yep, you, you got those um, javelins right there. What is your throwing? Power throw of seven. Yeah, my goodness. Yeah, let's keep pumping that up. And then I think you're, you're good to go, sir good to go we're gonna get you some better gear soon i promise you you're gonna look all spick and span all right let's go ahead wow that is a nice upgrade 
a full stack. Love it. All right, guys. So let's head back to Antiola. And now uh, we've got so much to do. It just keeps adding up. Oh, and I love it. I love it. So let's go into the castle and um, say hi to Vicentia. Especially since I have this new armor on, guys. Let's check this out. Oh, my goodness. I love it. And the kitty, the kitty Mars loves it. Now, I know some people in the comment section are not completely ecstatic with the name Mars. Uh, they feel it's not fitting. But, uh, guys, the ladies named the cat. So, uh, I love the name. And you should love the name, too. So, here, here we go. Let's, um... Ah, oh, Vicentia, I think I've already got one of these for you. This exact outfit. Huh. Yeah, well, I've got something new for you. Let's update your clothes. And let's see. I have picked out... Well, let's try this on. Alright, so this or this? Hmm. It's kind of modest and old lady-like, right? I don't know. God, and these boots are terrible. So that's a bit redder. I don't know. I think I'm kind of liking this. Kind of liking this. You guys let me know. Especially the ladies let me know. Am, am I totally dressing her wrong? I would love to hear. The female subscribers. Tell me how I should be dressing for Cynthia. I guess I'm liking this. I am really upset about this choice, guys. I Terrible decision. Terrible decision. And I could just see how disappointed she is. I think we're going to go with that. I think we're going to go with that. Change it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this dress down here. Make sure we don't lose it. And um, let's see. Yeah, this is this is my noble cloth. I'm going to put this down here too. Get that to one of my um, my other lords. Okay, so I, I feel pretty good about that. I feel pretty good. Um, so here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. I wanted to host the feast. Host a grand feast. The first feast. Celebrating everything with my... My new Lady Vicentia, hopefully soon to become Empress, and uh, and have all my lords and ladies join me in Tantioa. But when I try to host the feast and um, we go through the motions of checking the household possessions, um, apparently the game locks up. There's not a function to kind of keep moving on. I've tried everything. So guys, if you know what's going on, you let me know in the comment section. I've Closed out the game, restarted it, put a bunch of food, put a bunch of goods in the household possessions, then tried to talk to her about a feast, and it still didn't work. So guys, if you've accomplished a feast um, in this mod, you let me know in the comment section, and then hopefully we're going to try to get that done. But I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage, guys. So besides doing that, you know, I can put some household possess possessions in there. So I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and, and drop those dresses off in there. I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna put that my my backup um, robes in there, but I'm gonna keep this gear on me, and then uh, that's some stuff I need to hand out. All right, so I guess we can talk about this. Um, ooh, you've already got some good ideas. So two of my lords are apparently quarreling, um, damaging the unity of the realm, uh, sapping my authority to reconcile. Okay. Um. Hmm. I like that idea. Okay, so if we, if we happen to run into them, uh, we're going to go ahead and try to do that, guys. All right, so I think we're ready to go. I th we've got so many things to do. I'm going to try to find a bunch of lords, um, hand out some Roman garb. While we're doing that, we're going to tour the area, guys, and kind of see what feats we need to hand out to lords to make sure that um, everything's good, every land is secure. I've got as much money coming in as possible because we need to start building up for the next great war against the East Party. But first of all, we, we've got another war that we're going to start, but we're not going to talk about that just yet. Well, good sir, I am so glad I found you because this will not do. This will not do at all. Frankly, I should make you shave, but uh, we're going to let that pass. Uh, let's talk to you about your equipment. So yeah, let's uh, get this crap off of you. And uh, let's put this on. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, let's see. How would you prefer this one? Not bad. You kind of look like a dwarf, frankly. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> or, uh, we're definitely going to go with this. Th this is... <sighs> no. No. There you go. Uh, there you go, sir. That's a nice horse you got there. I would be... A mean bastard to take that horse from you, but it's so nice. But I'm a, I'm a nice general. I'm not going to steal from you, just like that. Um, but you're free to go. You're free to go. I think you're looking good. 
Looking good, sir. Have I given you anything? He's got no fief, so I better give him something soon before he gets pissed off at me. So I'm gonna write his name down. We already got a negative 15, but I think we can I think we can work on that. I think we can get that up there. So um let's see. Um hmm, hmm. of course you support yourself. <laughs> Just like I thought. Alright, guys, looking for some more lords. Ooh, and there's one right here. I, I'm pretty sure I've already given him something. Uh, Varden, I'm not don't quite remember, sir. Vorden's occupied, but I think I haven't Romanized this gentleman either. Ooh, good lord, 20? Oh my goodness, um, hmm. I see, over a lady, I don't even care about her, I'm married. I'm married. Well, this is that, that's almost... He's got no fiefs. I think I'm going to get rid of him, frankly. Let me write him down. And, and frankly, for you to talk to me that way, after you know that I just got married, I, I just, just... No, no. You're gone, sir. You're gone. You are gone. I'm not even going to waste my time on you. I'm out of here. I think I got this figured out, guys. And I couldn't believe it. I have like seven villages uh, that haven't been rewarded out. Um, and, and all of these villages are in the former Bosprin Kingdom in this area. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to keep most of these villages unrewarded for now so we can have more lords joining us because they see that we have um, feasts that haven't been handed out yet. So our kingdom looks a little bit more appealing. But what I will do is hand out a few of these border ones. Perhaps this one, this one, and maybe this one or this one. Oh, that may be better. I'm not sure. So, yeah, I think this one, this one, and this one. Those three I'm going to hand out. I've got a few lords that definitely um, need some lands. And then I'm going to take Olivia and uh, this town for myself. And the reason I always take towns, guys, is because towns bring in the most money. Castles and fortresses don't. So, in most mods, I'll just hand out those castles and fortresses to other lords um, because the garrison will never or rarely pay for what the castle brings in. And, um, villages, if it's a nice village, I'll, I'll hold on to it. But for the most part, guys, I'll, I'll hand those out too. But towns, I'll keep towns until I just can't handle them anymore. Um, but, yeah, we're going to need to start handing out some new things, so, so, some new land. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's see. I think I need to talk to uh, you. And uh, let's hand out a thief. So let's do this first. Petra Fortress is going to be important. And we didn't talk about Petra, but that's all the way down in Judea. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand Petra Fortress out to... Hmm. I think this... Yeah, I'm going to hand it out to a Roman. All right. You're gone already, sir, so I'm not worried about you. Radmus, I need to hand him out something he cannot... Yeah. All right, so let's, let's do this. Let's hand out... Um, so this is one of those, yes. Let's do that. Yes. How did he like that? All right, negative one. Um, all right, let's, okay, so we've got him taken care of. All right, Radness. we need to hand him, give him something. Where's it? Let's give him this right here. And where are you, Radness? I don't... See, there you are. Okay. So that gave us 10 points. Oof, he's still he's still down a little bit, but maybe we can do some work on that. Okay, so the last few things I want to do is... Um, there is a village attached to Petra, which I believe is this one. I'm going to go ahead and, and give it to him as well. I think that's probably the best thing to do. And then the last... Thief, I'm going to hand out to one of my lords would be this one. And I believe that is Lord Varden. Where are you, Lord Varden? There we go. Okay, so that helped out the relationship with Lord Varden. The last few things I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself the Lord of Olivia. And I'm going to accept the Lord of that as well. Everybody can just deal with it. That's how it's going to be. And guys, I just handed out a bunch of thieves, but I still left... What, there's about uh, four left, 
um, that I haven't handed out. Maybe, maybe only three left now. Yeah, one, two, three. But that will still allow some other lords to come in and see that our kingdom is appealing. And so hopefully we'll get some more people join us. Uh, the last thing I want to do is... I think I'm going to keep uh, that Rim Talk guy... Should I just do it? Should I just do it? Yeah, let's just do it. Ah. See ya, buddy. See ya. So we lost some two points with most of our lords, but you know what? It's worth it. Screw that guy. How dare he talk to the general that way? All right, guys. So here's what we're going to do. You guys have asked for it, and I think we're going to do it. Look at, look at my cat, Mars. Vicentius cat, frankly. You have asked for it, guys, and we're going to do it. I can't tell you how many people in the comment section have been asking me time and time again. Why don't you just finish off Judea? Why don't you just march down and take Jerusalem? All right, guys, we're going to start that today. We're going to have a little vacation war before we start with the East Party. And, you know, you guys brought up a good point. If it wasn't for a few you subscribers kind of convincing me that this was the best tactic, I, I wasn't going to do it. But you said, hey, don't you want a buffer between the, the central power of the East Party? Uh, the, the kingdom, the empire that you will be fighting soon, don't you want a bit of a buffer? Jerusalem would be a great buffer, and uh, especially since Antio, our capital, is kind of right between. You know, it's kind of smack dab right in the middle of their empire, if you really look at it. Um, the, the, the tip of our empire just dips right into theirs. Um, so yeah, I think maybe that would be a smart move. And you know what? It would kind of fracture them uh, from a land base. We can really set up a lord here really secure him in Masada and Jerusalem and then um yeah they would either have to sail across the Mediterranean uh, to fight us on this front or they're gonna have to go through a minefield of our lords so I'm gonna put yeah a couple of really good lords down here maybe maybe well there's one one good lord here and I'll just put a couple more here and we've already got one here and then we'll be pretty secure so guys I'm I'm so excited I'm so excited uh, one of the things I also want to do is I know it's a little bit crazy, but we need to test this out. I'm going to see which Lord I feel is the best. Now, I, it may be Lord Campan, because what I want to do is I want to give the marshalship to one of my Lords and um, see if he can take Jerusalem while I march on Masada. And I think I think Lord Campan is probably the best option, is he? I'm going to have to see who's got the largest army in the battlefield. Um, but... Here's what we're going to do, guys. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk to uh, Justin, a subscriber knight. And let's see if we can go ahead and uh, gather all our forces. I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to wait here, guys. And once everyone gathers, I'm going to look for... You see, campaign's got 140. I'm going to look for the uh, the man who's most laurel with the biggest army. And uh, we're going to see. We may hand out that marshalship. Make another general and uh, start this war against Judea. So I'll see you guys in a second. Well, I see Lord Velocat coming my way, and he's got 162. That looks pretty good. Oh, and that's a Roman. Does he have 150? Oh, that may be nice to make him marshal. I don't know. I, I may go with my gut. Let's see. Let's talk to you, good sir. Um, what is... You got 551. Very fond. Very fond. Okay. Hmm. Where is... Lord Velocat. 84, 7. Ah, I think. I think Lord Velocat may be the best option. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, there's one last thing, guys, that I want to do. I didn't forget about it. But we're going to go and uh, we're going to hire a bunch of these cataphracts. So let's see. Two, three, four. I can get 10 of them, huh? At a time. Let's see. Yeah, I have 11 now. So, that may have to do... Uh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping I could get more. But I tell you what, I'm just going to put them as part of my Praetorian Guard. Which, one of these subscribers had a great suggestion. Why don't you make the Cataphract part of your Praetorian Guard? But I have bigger plans, guys. I want to make an epic, epic group of cavalry just made of all this Cataphract if they do well. Um, in this new war against Judea. So let's see. I think we're in good shape. And also, did you see uh, how enormous um, the treasury is now? Can I hire more? Nope. Nope. Can't hire more of those. 
But I think we're in good shape. I don't think I really need to hire more troops. I may just... Hmm. What I may do is um, hire a group of South Party troops. And you can always use some more stats, right? Always use some more stats. So I think I got some more stats. How are we looking? There they are. There's the stats. Uh, yes, join my party. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Um, we've got Lord Velocat here, so we can immediately tell him what we want him to do. So let's check the notes. Let's not go crazy right into war without knowing what Judea is up to. Um, they are not at war with anybody. I think I saw this this war against the North Party in fairly, fairly... Yeah, it was just a few days ago, I believe. But wait, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lords left. Plus the ruler A, so it, it's still it's still got a decent amount. Decent amount. But guys, are you ready to do this? I mean, are you guys screaming? Just conquer Judea already! We're, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna do it right now. Let's start this war. We're, we're not waiting for anything. And uh yeah, these uh They need to see this new Roman garb, right? They need to see this new armor. Oh, it's so exciting. Come here. Alright, um I tell you what. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna have to start this war the old-fashioned way. Well, actually, yeah, if I want to make it martial, I have to come all the way back up here. Yep. So let's do this. Let's replace myself as marshal. And let's give it to Lord Velocat. I'm gonna have to do this now. Yeah. Alright, so then we'll have to see if he'll follow me. Will you follow me? Um... <laughs> No, he won't. Um. Aha. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what he. Hey, see, we're not at war. Will he follow? No. So we need to start a war. Okay, so there's our answer. You know, when you're not a marshal, I, I really hope at Banner Lord they'll kind of fix this. It's very difficult to give marshalship to someone and expect him to kind of do what you hope. To kind of be a general on the battlefield so you can kind of do other things. But we're going to have to go ahead and start this war. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, where is he? Judea? Uh, yeah, we're declaring war. Yeah, there it is. And it's as simple as that. Alright, so guys, we're ready to go. We are ready to go. Finally. There's, where's Lord Velocat? There he is. Okay. Go to Jerusalem. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, hopefully you're going to have a big enough group following you. Yes, yes. Hey, gather those armies, Lord Velocat. Gather those armies, because I, I see... I see they're definitely gathering. Oh. You've only got 46 men. You need to be careful, sir. You need to be careful, indeed. Oh, Lord Velocat. What, what are you doing? And, um, Lord Defects. Oh, another North Party. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Oh, they're, they're parked right outside Jerusalem. Guys, I think we're going to have a little bit of a battle here. Oh, Velocat, don't be scared. Go go for it. Go for it. I'm, I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Don't be scared. Rush in there. Ooh, that ruler's got 400. I see what you're scared about. Let's see. That's all he's got, though, and he's going to run into Jerusalem. All right, Velocad, good job. I'll, I'll take I'll take him out. I got him. Let's see what he's got. One cavalry. Oh, he's got some Romans, though. Mercenary warriors, 80. 49 camel warriors. Damn, I wish I would have brought a better army. Damn, damn, damn. I didn't even bring my fire archers, too. Hmm. <laughs> well, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, right? No? Alright, guys. We're going to see. I'm going to hold by them. Maybe I can run and, and pick up my fire archers. Man, the general is just not with it today. But you know what? Lord Velocat's supposed to be the marshal. I'm not supposed to worry about these things. But, uh, guys, I'm going to hopefully see if they can uh, hold down the fort... Hold down the siege, and then I'm going to rush right back, and I'm going to take out the ruler Simon yet again. So I'll see you guys in a second.
go big or go home, right? He got three separate battles. Um, I believe, yeah, he's going to lose. I think he's going to be okay, Lord Velocat. But this is the one we're going to crush. We're going to have this huge epic battle right now. I've got 300 of my best men. I know I'm outnumbered. Wow, that's four, five, six. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway.